Brahmin are dropping faster than the flies that float around them, and it's all happening in the quiet, modest town of Novak. It's not every day you walk into town and you see a giant T-Rex biting off the tip of a thermometer with a sniper in between its teeth, shooting down at ghouls, geckos, raiders, and anything else that might harm the people who live here. But despite its glaring presence, the dinosaur is not the animal you should be worrying about. And the sniper can't actually see everything that threatens this town. There's something else that lurks here that no one can seem to find. You see, it all starts when you speak to Nobark Noonan, the town's crazy man. You ask him what's been going on in town, and he's going to tell you something very disturbing has been happening at the McBride's house, specifically in their pen where they keep their Brahmin. Apparently, every night, one of the Brahmin from the herd gets killed off. Holes are found all over its body. Hmm, all right. Holes must be from a submachine gun, right? Uh, do, do we have a gangster that came down from the strip recently? Chupacabra? <clears throat> Wait, what? No Bark is saying a, a, a chupacabra is the thing that picked up a submachine gun and is the one killing these animals. That, 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 is, that is one of the smartest things I've ever heard. How cultured! It's, it's metaphorical. The chupacabra from legend, the killer of livestock, and, and that it drinks from the animal's blood. Very good. I, I, I like it. The other townsfolk didn't seem to appreciate that bit of wisdom as much, but they're obviously not as well-read as us. B- please, continue. Apparently, one night, he saw the killer himself. This, this was while he was out stalking a gecko that he thought was um, hiding treasure from him. Again, gonna pass that one off as metaphorical. So he tells you what the thing looked like. It had, um, what was that? Two heads and and fangs that uh, came down to the to the ground. Wait, what do you mean? Like, like what do you mean? Like two gangsters who don't know how to tie a tie? What, what do you mean? You don't you don't mean you actually saw a, a made up creature, do you? I thought I thought you were being I thought this was. <clears throat> Hang on. Uh, no, Bark, tell me a little bit more about yourself, please. Oh, rad scorpions stung you, and it probably leaked into your brain. Got it. I'm, I'm not going to pass that one off as metaphorical. Thank you, Noonan. Thank you so much uh, for your stories. Oh, God, that was a mistake. What was I thinking? The last thing I want to do is start a quest from him. The, the reward would just be a treasure from a gecko, apparently, which I am willing to believe would, would be intestines of some kind. Oh, oh, what a farce. The whole thing. I don't know, what, what, why did I start making this video? After that, you might feel tempted to hit the motel. Certainly not to get a room and stay any longer than you have to in this wacky town, but to grab a drink before promptly heading out. But just before you go, Jeannie Crawford mentions it as well, that Dusty McBride's been losing his Brahmin. Okay, so that part was true. Uh, well, all right, what else can you tell me? She says it's probably just because of the heat. You know, no, no mention of bullets or anything else like that. So, uh, this no-bark just took that and then ran with it? Alright, all right, got it. Thank you so much, Jeannie. Well, the McBride house is on our way out of town, so there's no reason to not just quickly stop by. If everything looks normal, then we're gonna move along. Sure enough, when you get to the pen, one of the herd is lying there dead. Its body is so rotten, it's, it's hard to tell what exactly killed it. In fact, they all look like they're about to die. Although for them, that probably means they're in good health. Well, let's get some information from the owners first. So you go in and you start talking to Dusty McBride. Sorry to interrupt your dinner, Mr. McBride. I, I just wanted to ask if there's any chance you've seen Nobark Noonan sneaking around your house, because I wouldn't be surprised if he tried killing your animals. Or you. But no, he goes on to tell you what he knows. Someone with a gun is indeed shooting his Brahmin. It happens every night, directly at midnight. So if you know when it's going to happen, why don't you go out there and try to stop them? He says he doesn't want to get shot. All right, well, let's see if his wife has a bigger spine than he does. You go into the bedroom, and... Uh, and... Mm. Hello, Mrs. McBride. I, I, I wasn't expecting such a... Cow. Oh, ho- holy cow, I mean... Mm, sorry, you, you don't look anything like the pe- Like, Brahmin! That's it. I think I know what killed your Brahmin. It was, um... A chupacabra holding a machine gun, and it had two heads and a jaw down to the ground. Jaw down to the... Oh, wait, wait, that's me, sorry. I don't know what I don't know what I'm talking about. I just wanted to meet you so badly, yes. The Brahmin murders are very serious, and I'm going to stay in town as long as I have to to figure out what's going on here. Thank you for giving me this job. Okay, I'll... S- yeah, I'll see you soon. See you. I'll be back pretty soon, and then hopefully I'll, you know, I'll, I'll be able to see you some more. A little... So, you have a, have a nice... Shut up, Mr. McBride! I'm working on it! Damn, she was really cute. 
I don't even care that her neck looked like it was about to fall off because of that new ENB that I downloaded so carelessly. No, I thought it made her look kind of edgy. Well, there's no going back now. We need to find this murderer before the entire herd is killed off. So remember, it's probably going to attack again at midnight. You should find a good spot to hide and wait for this to happen. Uh, actually, the dumpster over in the next yard seems like a good place to look out over the corral and see where exactly this person or persons will be coming from. So now it's just a matter of waiting. Uh, you wait and it gets dark real fast. Mini tornadoes of dust like to trick you, whistling at you. A rad roach is off somewhere, scuttling around. Anything sounds like footsteps at this point. Hmm. I wonder what he's going to look like, or she will look like, or it will look like, or, th or they will look like, or we will look like, or Will will look like. Hmm. It's past 12. It should be here by now. Hmm. You ever wonder if there's a color that you've never seen before? You know, like, like somewhere else in the world, there's this orange that you've never seen. It's a special orange, a, a brilliant orange, and you have to go like... 20,000 miles to the east just to find this one color. Wait, 20... How, how long is the Earth? Maybe going just a few thousand miles in the other direction might get you there a lot quicker. Yeah, this seems to make a lot more sense. Oh, I... I saw something. Oh! Shots fired! It did it! It shot the Brahmin! Hey! Oh, what do I do? Is it... What do I do? Is it still out there? Oh, yep, it got one of the Brahmin. It definitely got one of the Brahmin. Hey, you leave this place alone, do you hear me? You stop coming here unless you want trouble. I, I got some crazy friends in this town. Holy crap, did you see that? It came out of nowhere. It, it, started, it started shooting and then it disappeared immediately. It, it definitely looked like the outline of a dude. A, but big, a big dude. Crap, well I can't talk to the McBrides now. I'm not going to be telling them anything new. It got one of their Brahmin again. Alright, listen. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Bright and early tomorrow morning, we take preventative measures to stop this from happening again. If it still does, then we put ourselves even closer to the pen to, uh, in turn get closer to the attacker and see what is up. Perfect. Have a good night. Oh, that was weird. So, the next morning you decide to do some recon. Look, if this killer is coming from some kind of nearby outpost and we take him out first, then we're not going to have a problem by the time midnight rolls around. You should see some ruins to the southeast, so you start there. This is Clark Field. There's a bunch of golden geckos here, and they're definitely big, as big, if not bigger, than a regular human. And they've already killed a pack Brahmin that you can still find, so, yeah, their motivation can certainly be recognized. Uh, the thing is, none of them tried shooting me with a gun. Yeah, not a big surprise, so we, that doesn't really get explained. Alright, well, they're dead now, so if the killer was among them, good riddance. Next is the Viper Encampment, just to the west. A lot of people here with guns, that certainly foots the bill. And they're not far down the road from the McBrides, which is the first house they'd see if they came into Novak from this direction. But none of them were very sneaky in combat. I mean, not very assassin-like. And I didn't find any stealth boys on them. That's certainly what it looked like the person had. Well, again, if the killer was here, then he's dead now. Uh, but we still have some time before tonight. Maybe there's more that we can do. Back in town, you go for round two, asking the settlers about the attacks. But not with much luck. Most people have very little to say, or don't know anything about it. And I could have, uh, done without talking to Cliff Briscoe. And don't go in his house, either, by the way. It is weird in there. And while the other homes in Novak, they're not very pleasant to be in. They certainly don't look nice. They didn't give me any reason to believe there was a killer living there. So... I think that's the best we can do, as far as preventative measures go, for now anyway. You should get some rest. Who knows how long tonight might be. You can do so much better than him. Dusty is a stupid name anyway. Ah, uh, The gecko stole my treasure! Brahmin, you still okay? Okay. It's only- it's still only eight? What the- what if I- Ah, oh, damn, let's pick up the speed. So you wait, specifically, midnight quickly approaches. You're much closer to the pen this time, so once the attacker reveals itself, you should get a much better glimpse. There's only two Brahmin left, so if we fail this, tomorrow's gonna be our only chance. Let's- let's make sure we don't get that far. Wait. I'm detected. Shut up. Shut up. Stop talking. I'm the only one talking. Sorry. I'm detected. This is the moment we've been waiting for. 
Holy crap! Nightkin! Nightkin! You, baby and just like that our secret brahmin killer had been killed it wasn't a gecko not a raider not a chupacabra it was a nightkin wielding a minigun and using a stealth boy to stay invisible until just the right moment putting a few bullets in it as it revealed itself managed to get rid of the effects of its invisibility giving you that small window to lock onto it as it was running away and fire those last few shots so oh, good work what motivated the creature to, to be doing this weird thing? Well, on its body, you can find a hollow disc. It explains that this nightkin had been haunted by the screams of Brahmin. At night, it would literally hear these animals screaming in its head to the point of madness, more than, more than usual anyway, because these creatures are like really messed up. It felt that it had to kill them in order to get the voices to stop. Uh, why it didn't just kill all of them in one night? Yeah, that's a pretty good question. It's hard to understand, again, the minds of these very disturbed creatures. Although, one thing is certain. Novak's cow killer has come to an end. Those pink, fleshy, two-headed beauties that we know so well will live to see another day. Uh, well, well, one of them will. I managed to save, uh, one, two... Yeah, well, I managed to save one of them. Better go tell the McBrides. Dusty, your secret attacker is dead. I don't have the option of telling you what it was, and you wouldn't believe me anyway, really. Reward? Nine Brahmin steaks from your refrigerator. Yeah, wouldn't want to waste all that meat, would you? If I bite down on a 5mm, I'm coming after you. <laughs> Alice, you look beautiful and lovely as always, and I'm happy to have helped you out. Truth is, I hate looking at that glitch on your neck. It bothers the hell out of me. What can I say? I'm a shallow guy. You two take care of yourself now. So glad to have helped you out. Grow that herd of yours. Nice, big, healthy Brahmin, as many as you can. I'm sure you're both going to do very well. Ah, another family helped. After that, there's just one last person that you have to see. Maybe even thank, because they were trying to tell you the truth all along. Hey, no bark. Yep, the invisible chupacabra, the killer of livestock who was using a stealth boy to stay out of sight. The, uh, what else did you say? The rotating blunderbuss attached to a backpack. Yeah, we, we call that a minigun nowadays, but I, I, I get what you were saying. Uh, what else? You said he was talking to someone else who must have been invisible. Yeah, well, in a sense, talking to the crazy voices that were going on in his head. Same thing, really. But you were right about all of it, mostly. And no one took you seriously. Well, thanks for your help, anyway. You led us to the right spot, and then we'd take it from there. Hmm... After that, a certain weight had been lifted off of this town, almost like someone placed it on the back of a pack animal. <laughs> that way our shoulders could rest, and rest easy they would. Novak's secret butcher was now gone. Where did it come from in the first place? Well, just up the road to the west is a place called the Repcon Test Site. Word has it there's been some strange activity up there with a manner of all kinds of creature, but that's story for another day. Let's enjoy the small victory that we have. And on my way out, I couldn't help but see that big T-Rex again chewing on that thermometer. Mm, can't be good. So I made sure to give it a few steaks before heading out. <laughs> now that's the kind of meat that is worth screaming about. <laughs>